the Miami Dolphins improved to 6-7 and kept their five-game winning streak alive with a 20-9 win against the New York Giants. The Dolphins' season script has been completely flipped these last few weeks and a lot of that is due in part to the growth of Tua Tungavailoa, who put in another great performance this week. Tua finished the day going 30 for 41 for 244 yards and two touchdowns, stats courtesy of ESPN. His stat line would have been much better on the day if Miami receivers didn't drop the ball like they did. Regardless of those mistakes, Tunga Vailoa put in another great performance and did a good job keeping the offense going. Of course, the offense wasn't at its best in this game. Miami offensive line looked a bit worse than in the last few weeks and, as mentioned previously, Miami receiving corp seemed a bit off in this one with a number of drops that stalled drives. Even with those hiccups, the offense was able to put up 20 points on the day and Tua looked like he took another step in his development. Of all the growth that we have seen over the last few weeks in Tua game, the most impressive for me is his feel in the pocket. Numerous times in this game and in the last few weeks, Tua has been able to feel the pressure around him and step up into the pocket to keep the play alive. As a young quarterback, you would expect Tua to have a poor feel for the pressure around him, especially when you throw in how bad this line has been. Yet, Tua has excelled at keeping plays alive which is a noticeable change from quarterbacks in Miami immediate past. His accuracy was also on display in this one, putting the ball in positions where only his receivers can make plays. There were a few throws that seemed as though they were poor but ended up being perfectly placed. He threw his receivers open a few times as well, which is a necessary skill to be a top-level quarterback in the league. Overall, Tua has proved these past few weeks that he is more than capable of leading this offense to great things. There shouldn't be much doubt left about his ability moving forward and whether or not he can be the answer as the franchise guy. At this point, he most certainly is. Giants defender attempts to roast Tua Tungavailoa after loss versus Dolphins. The New York Giants couldn't get things done against the Miami Dolphins in Week 13, stumbling to a 20-9 defeat on the road. Typically after a tough loss, most players prefer to put it behind them and look towards the next game. Not Logan Ryan. The Giants' safety tried to roast Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa while talking to the media after the loss, and even managed to throw some shade at Mike Glennon in the process, via Zach Rosenblatt. Ryan told reporters that he would be available to the Giants as an emergency quarterback if needed, considering that was his high school position. I'm a lot like Tua, I can throw two-yard passes to the left, Ryan remarked. A bit ironic considering the man Ryan essentially called a dump-off specialist torched his secondary for 244 yards and a pair of touchdowns. If the short pass is the only thing working, Tunga Vailoa was smart to exploit it, and he did just that to the fullest possible extent. Rather than fire shots at opposing second-year quarterbacks, perhaps Ryan and the Giants should be focused on how to contain an offense throwing mostly short passes. Additionally, while unintentional, it's also easy to see Ryan's remarks as a shot at Giants backup quarterback Mike Glennon, who struggled in the loss. Glennon completed 23 of 44 passes with no touchdowns and one interception, failing to provide much of a spark for the Giants' offense. For Ryan to suggest he could fill in at the position for the Giants shows a significant lack of confidence in Glennon, who is the starter while Daniel Jones is on the sideline. After starting off 1-7 in the first eight weeks of the season, the Dolphins have rattled off five straight victories. The game wasn't pretty, but Brian Flores' team did what they needed to do to walk out of Hard Rock Stadium with their sixth win of the season. Miami offense went stretches without putting up points, as they only scored in the second and fourth quarters. Tua Tungavailoa completed 30 of 41 pass attempts for 244 yards and two touchdowns that were hauled in by Mac Hollins and Isaiah Ford. The Dolphins entered the game without Philip Lindsay due to an ankle, and they lost Patrick Laird to a knee in the first quarter. From there, the burden fell on Miles Gaskin and Salvan Ahmed. They remained committed to the run game despite not seeing much success, rushing 23 times with the backs for 67 yards, just 2.9 yards per carry. Lindsay's return will probably help the efforts, but it hasn't been good for the Dolphins this whole season. Jalen Waddell and Mike Jasicki were still Tungavailoa favorite targets even though Devontae Parker made his return to the lineup this week. They both were targeted 11 times, bringing in 16 receptions for 136 yards. Parker was no slouch himself, recording five receptions for 62 yards, including a clutch grab on one of the final offensive drives. Defensively, Miami didn't look like themselves early, 
they were giving up plays underneath and not getting a lot of pressure. Josh Boyer's unit had only given up three points in the first half, but it felt more like the Giants had missed opportunities rather than the Dolphins shutting them down. The only big play they really had early was Xavier Howard's fourth interception of the year. He and Javon Holland ran stride for stride with the Giants receiver, and Mike Glennon took a risk that Howard made them pay for. Other than that, there wasn't much going for them. Later in the game, the defense started to find their rhythm. They got into Glennon's face, forcing incompletions and getting sacks. Adam Butler brought the quarterback down once, and Phillips did so twice, on back-to-back -back plays. All of the losses earlier in the season definitely put the Dolphins in a bad spot, but at this point, they've won five in a row. The team goes into the bye week feeling good, and they have a chance to get some rest before facing the Jets again.